Hey, welcome back to my channel. And today I would like to share about the new accessory that I purchased it recently. So I hope you are able to guess it right now, which is the vlog monitor that I purchased recently. So it will be a complete setup in terms of the vlog setup with the combination of the Sony camera group itself. So with this and we will try I will try to share uh about the three uh, uh, advantage or benefit and the three bad things about the vlog monitor right so without further ado let's start it. so the first thing that i would like to share is about the uh this is a merger and complete solution for a model blogger especially where you could leverage and utilize the best camera system at the back of your mobile phone um so it's not only deliver the great video quality as well as you are able to utilize the great autofocus system at the back of our mobile system um, and I with the SPM 1 Mark 4 of the autofocus system I believe we are able to compete with some of the digital camera system itself um, so I'm here to demo if you are kind of a vlogger would like to do a live streaming and sell your product on the video with your phone um so this is a great this is a sample how you can utilize your autofocus system on your back even your eye detection over here it, it is turning on but when you try to put it on the center of your screen and able to detect it and you can see the how quick is the response of your uh, item example so i'm trying to show it right so of course the distance of the autofocus of your camera smartphone especially the SPM one mark 4 over here um, is not really up to very close but if you try to maintain about the 10 cm uh, of the distance with your camera lenses is are able to record uh, or uh, take it in the focus very nicely so with the monitor definitely you can ensure your item are in focus or even though i'm trying with this another small item like the sd card so i can ensure that i'm my pretty sure that my product are in focus properly and of course the framing of the video itself okay second thing is about the audio quality so um in the vlog monitor itself it do have the 3.5 millimeter jack for the audio uh, input where i can connect it with my external microphone which i'm using right here um it do support for the stereo channel with the vlog monitor over okay, here of course you are and you would question me why not you just use with the 3.5 millimeter jack on your uh, sp one mark for the reason is not support for the stereo it's only support for the mono channel so if you would like to have a stereo channel uh, for the uh, for your video recording you have to connect the TRS cable on the uh, into a 3.5 millimeter jack on the monitor itself if you're wondering what is it TRS and TRS cable so I do have one sample with the TRS cable so these are the uh the headphone jack on uh on itself so i'm trying to hide my face so you can see clearly you have four poles of the audio cable which is three line three black line and four different of the golden plate over there uh, for trs you will have two different line over here which is um three pole so in order to use for the stereo channel of the um with the microphone you have to connect with the trs cable on the screen itself okay um so next thing is about the phone holder which come in the box as well um it do come with the monitor cable and the phone holder so this phone holder do have the uh, coastal mounting which you can attach your microphone or probably your video uh, LED lighting so you can uh, just do whatever complete solution for your vlogging right um, of course it also do have it is also do have provide a good holding uh, feature in terms of the uh, even though I'm, I'm 
having my phone casing with my phone itself is also still able to hold the entire phone without worry about the sleeping or whatever this is a spring loading in case you would like to know and it's able to uh, unload and load your phone quite simple quite quite quickly okay so now let's go into the bad thing about the monitor itself so first thing it do have a uh, limited support in terms of device compatibility uh, currently it's only support for the SPL Pro i SPL 1 Mark 4 and SPL 5 Mark 4 so if you're wondering why it's not able to support for the previous generation of SPF phone um, this is because uh, it's required the USB 3.2 generation uh, from the phone itself so for SPF 1 Mark 3, 5 Mark 3 and the previous generation it's only do have 3.1 USB generation so this is something that is um, something that I feel is very really lack of and but I expect the future SPM flagship model will come with the 3.2 um, generation of the USB port and ideally you should be able to support the same monitor screen over here um, okay second thing is about limited function uh, because it do not have the touch screen do not have the playback feature you only have the certain limited uh, indicator on the screen example the top right over here which is a battery level and overheating warning uh, at the bottom uh, right bottom there's a recording on the standby indicator whether you are recording your video or you are in the standby mode as well as the total duration of your video currently show down uh, of course it do have the audio level indicator um, so that I can see how far how much the the audio level is recorded and usually um, you will not try to let your audio heat into a red part of the audio level so this is a good indicator for you but I think it still should have certain things like your expo exposure value um, your SD space how many gig storage that you have on the top left because it's totally blank um, but of course if you're trying to capture a photo uh, it still will show you a, a, a preview a small icon on the center of the right screen uh, but ultimately it, I still hope it do have a touch screen so can, I can do uh, control like the auto focus or object tracking on the phone itself because it's able to do so right um, the third the last item which I would like to call out it is an expensive device um, with this SPM vlog monitor is um, it's cost $200 in the US country but in some of the Asian country it take about uh, for my country is about thousand dollar uh, thousand ringgit Malaysia so it's not a cheap solution for you to have the uh, a great um, monitor kit to have the complete vlog uh, kit right but somehow yeah you have to really have to spend on it and it only as support for the SPL phone as well as it's only support for two C, uh, two ca native camera apps itself which is the photo pro and the video pro apps so um it's not support for others for other brand and this is something that you need to consider if you are the person that who will consider about the future SPL flagship I think it is still a very expensive uh, device or accessory that you could purchase but ultimately there's no other manufacturer that come out with this kind of solution and I think um, even though with the Alpha line like the Alpha A1 um, you do, do not have a good selfie monitor right? uh, only with the new reason like the Alpha uh, Alpha 7 Mark 4 or Mark 5 um, they come with the great axis, uh, four axis of the monitor screen, which you are able to flip or whatever. But for a mobile manufacturer, I think this is the only solution that is provide uh, the best, um, complete um, vlog setup, right? So, so these are the points that I would like to call out with the SPM vlog monitor based on the few days that I'm using on this and I will definitely use and bring this up out with my travel for the upcoming days as well as a, for, uh, some of the planned activity in the, in the following uh, days and months right um, 
if you do have any question about the vlog monitor and you would like to understand further about this please feel free to drop your question at the comment section below and if you like the video please uh, share it and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming updated video thank you very much and bye